around Vegas, James Sutton, March 4th, Las Vegas, Nevada. Y'all see the sun shining through the windows and stuff. Hey, you know, usually, I want to get right into what I'm talking about today. Usually, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be discussing a little something different today. I know if you watch some of my first videos, um, you know, or the people that know me know I Uber, right? I Uber, I do a few different things. I real estate, I do Uber. I, uh, I used to run a detail co company for 10 years, a little small detail c company. You know, it was uh, God is good. He, he, he really blessed me with some good people to, to work with uh, through them years. And you know, I still deal with a lot of those same people that I became friends with. Um, but I want to get right into what I'm talking about with the Uber and thing, y'all. You know, because somebody told me, man, won't you uh, make a video of you Uber? Won't you make a video about, about Uber? So, you know, I, and how much can you make and if, if, if Uber is good out here and if, if, if you can really make a living off Uber. So here we go. Las Vegas 2020 as of right now with the Uber game. OK, everybody know the Uber game, period. Uh, it's a competitive business no matter where you're at. And Las Vegas is one of those places. With that said, um. Las Vegas is a place where I believe if you're thinking about Uber and moving to Las Vegas, if you're watching this from a different state, um, you really can't go wrong, right? I mean, you're going to make some money. It just depends on you and how, how it's like anything, how much, you know, how, how much time you want to put into it and stuff and stuff like that. But, um, you know, there's opportunity to make some pretty decent cash out here you know i mean like i say i would um suggest in my own opinion you know or just you know i'll tell you kind of what i do i i do a few different things so i kind of i don't rely on one source of income right um just because you know that's just kind of what i like to do but um you know i'm trying to get to a place um you know uh, in business right um and like I said, I've ran, you know, a detail company, uh, you know, and stuff like this. So I got an understanding of people. But the Uber game. Okay. The Uber game is like this, y'all out here in Vegas, but for people that don't know. This is what I do, okay? Um, can you make good money out here? Yes. Can you make over 100 bucks a day? Yes. Can you make over 100 bucks a day um, without working all day? Absolutely. Um, can you make 150 bucks a day? Okay, let's go there. Yeah. Um, and how long would that take? All right. Could you make a, two, a couple bu a hundred bucks a day? Because that's what a lot of people have asked me. Can you make at least 200 bucks a day? Yes. Over. Uh, yeah, it's possible. Um, you're going to put some hours in, right? How many hours? Just get right into it. You know, on the average... On an average, depending on tips and everything else, bonuses and all this stuff. If you do, um, if you drive about four hours out here, you're gonna clear, you're gonna make around 60 bucks just out of Ubering. I'm not talking about tips and promotions and, and all type of thing, Uber offer, you know, the website and, you know, different referral money and different stuff like that. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of different ways to make money with Ubering, right? Um, the flexibility of having the time where you can stop and go as you want is great. You can cash out throughout the day. That's pretty cool, right? If you need money, right? I got my shirt over here, kind of, you know, it's getting kind of warm out here, y'all. Excuse my trying to get fresh for the camera. But no, but really, you know, so yeah, you can make about 60 bucks in about four hours. So you, you know, give or take that, depending on your tips and just depending on you. You know, I'm just giving an average. I'm not saying that's what you make and that's what I'm not saying you won't make that. I mean, as average. So you give yourself four hours. So what I do, you know, I'm up, I'm up 4.30 in the morning every day, y'all. So that's just a normal thing for me. I don't necessarily start at 4.30 in the morning, but I'm just giving a little blueprint of how I do it, right? So I get up in the morning, 4.30. I really probably get to Ubering actually around 6 o'clock in the morning. So start around 6 o'clock. You know, in Vegas or in any city, but I'm just using in Vegas, you know, I know my city. I'm born here, right? So I know the the temperament of the city, or I've learned the temperament really through Uber of uh, the city. So in the morning, you know, you 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 figure at six o'clock in the morning, who who needs to Uber, right? <laughs> in Vegas, right? Usually, this is how I 
I structure my day. You know, um, I'm taking people to work. I'm taking kids to school. I'm dropping people off at the airport. And I, what I do, I position myself in that area. Not necessarily on the strip, right? If you talk to a few Uber drivers, every Uber driver that I've spoken to, we try to, we don't drive up and down the strip. That's the last thing we want to do. That right there, tear up your car. Quick, right? Um, tip number one. Not saying you don't, you're just going to always bring it to the strip, but you just coming out here and you think you're going to just, just I'm, let me just say this for the people that's thinking about Uber and coming out to Vegas. Be careful. Do not think you're going to come out to the strip. I know you're thinking, hey, the strip is always busy. Yes, it is. Will you always get right? Yes, you will. That is, um, I would advise people not to start Ubering on the strip. <laughs> Just listen to what I'm saying, kind of. So, you know, it'll give you a good, a good idea. You don't have to do it like I do. But, you know, so I start in the area over there by the strip in neighborhoods where I know people are going to work. Six o'clock to about 10 a.m., you know, I'm, I'm at a certain amount if I'm stopping or not going, if I'm you know, stand in the in the in the uh, vicinity of uh, where I know people are moving at, right? And you know, it takes a little time to, to figure that out. Um, but it's not really hard here in Vegas because it's a 24-hour city, right? So you can you you can pretty much find that out pr real fast. So I do that. Um, I don't drive around looking for people. What I do, I have a location over there in the, the area that I'm I'm speaking of. And I'm, I'll, I'll, um, if I don't get a ride coming from home, if I don't get a ride coming from home or coming from wherever I start at, and I start right over where I might get a cup of coffee, whatever, start right there. I'll go to that location where I know it's going to be always busy. Right. And there's many places in Vegas you can do that. And I'll, I'll, I'll sit there. I'll give myself 10 minutes and usually within five or 10 minutes, I get a ring and I'll just run off of that ring. Right, I'll go to the next stop. I usually get a ring there. I'll run up there, get a ring there. Might get a pool, get a ring there. If I don't, I'll drive back if I'm close to that location, back to that location, which I'm usually around that location at that time because for the last two years I've been Ubering or a year solid I've been Ubering. Uh, it, it works, right? It's many places in Vegas that works, but um, that works. Um, you know, if you really, for the, for the people that's really um, thinking about Ubering out here, Man, leave a comment. Um, you know, I'll, I'll I'll communicate back with you, man. And um, if you know, you know, if you've never been out here, you, you're thinking about coming, or if you're out here and you don't know the way, man, just drop me some comments, man. I'll I'll share it all, everyone thing that I know, you know. Um, so that's kind of what I do. So six to ten, we, we, okay, this is my time. Six a.m. to ten a.m. in the morning. You know, usually around that time. Usually, I'm in the average of 40, 50 bucks, right? Gas, right? That's what y'all think. So much gas you're putting on there. And yeah, it do de uh, depend on what kind of car you get. I have a six-cylinder car. I would advise, get a four-cylinder or six-cylinder strong four, a good six-cylinder car, uh, Ubering. Uh, if you're using your car, you know, or something like that, I would, if you have a six-cylinder, four-cylinder, I would advise using that. If you're renting a car, they're going to give you a good economy car anyway. And that's another way you can... Um, Uber out here in Vegas too You can go through a rental program That Uber has uh, You can rent a car And then you gotta pay You know a certain amount Every month uh, Every week for the car And you know, take it out your, it, 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 You know it, 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 That's a way You know of doing it too um, So you have that And I'll leave my um, What you call it I'll leave my uh, code My name and my code In the video For people watching That might wanna sign up if you want to sign up they guarantee you like i believe like when you first sign up for uber uh, i believe it's now check again and i'll make sure and i'll write it down in, in the in the bottom but um i believe it's 700 bucks a, a week they guarantee you for your first week or your first they, they guarantee you these rides your, for your, for your first week so i'll leave that my you know you can sign up through me or whatever where how you want to sign up but um you know, you sign up through me, you can get the thing. I believe Uber have a uh, another way. I know they have promotions going all the time. I'm just going to leave it down. Whoever want to do it, whatever. If you don't sign through Uber, I'm just trying to give you the blueprint about Uber. So, 6 um, to 12 o'clock. Now, what I try to do, and it's not always like this, uh, I try to uh, 
manage my time like I'm at a job, right? Even though I'm, I have the freedom, you got to have discipline with this, guys, right? You got to have discipline uh, doing any, anything. And definitely with this, getting paid throughout the day, right? Um, you got to have a little self-discipline because um, if you don't, it can mess you up. But, you know, so I treat it like um, a shift, and, you know, and that's so I do a six to 12 shift or a six to one shift or whatever, you know? And, and, and uh, so I, I have, so I'll make sure personally that I'll make a certain amount at this time. So like now I can, uh, like I'm talking to you guys, this is how I do these videos. I'm on break, right? So I can uh, go wash the car, go do wherever, go to the grandkid, wherever, spend time with the, my kids, you know what I mean? Spend time with, with family or whoever, you right? Uh, go take care of bills. I don't like that shirt like that, yo. Go, 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 go take care of bills. It's kind of warm in here. I got the doors shut and it's 70 degrees out here in Vegas. Get around Vegas. Nice out here, but it's kind of warm when, you know, when you're sitting in the closed car trying to block all the outside noise out, right? But anyway, you know, so, uh, yeah, you can really do good out here with the Uber. Um, you just gotta pace yourself. So what I do, I take my break. I'm at the break now. I might break for a few hours. I might break for um, an hour. Usually it's a few hours because I have that freedom. It's about timing and pacing yourself, right? And knowing the city. You know, not 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. For me in Vegas, you can get rides, but there's not a lot of people moving around Uber. So I'm not going to drive around burning gas, right? I go home. I'll, I'll, I'll sit outside. If it's beautiful, I'll go to family, wherever, you know? And, 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 I, and I do it that way. Um, eat, whatever, you know, enjoy, go do, you know, whatever. Enjoy life. That's the beautiful thing about Uber, right? So now, here we go. Here's the second shift. Now, just say if I've made, and usually I try to not stop until I at least, and it's not always like this, at least 80 bucks, 100 bucks before I even take a break, right? Because maybe in that evening time, I might not want to go back out or whatever or i might have some might come up or or whatever right or it might might be whatever usually i don't i go out in uber but i'm just saying you know so i try to make me personally my the bunch of my money in the morning fresh when i'm up fresh got my coffee orange juice you know all this stuff and i'm feeling great um so here we go you know you figure people get off of work Monday through Friday at the same time, just by any sense of the city, four or five o'clock. Usually I don't catch the four, four or five o'clock uh, traffic. I'll wait until about six or seven and I'll come back out in Uber just around that time in an area that I know that's moving. People are getting, coming home from work or that I know that's active. You know, the key is not a lot of driving. And, and finding areas that you know, and there's always areas in Vegas, there's 24 hours that you know that's moving, you know? So from seven, and I try to, you know, I don't, not out all night, I don't do the late night stuff. So from about from seven to about nine, 10, at the latest 11, but I never really work until 11 o'clock unless it's on the weekend sometime. I didn't made my other amount of money, which adds up to, well, you know, whatever that adds up to at time, you know, give or take 200. I'm just doing out some numbers so people would know that you can make that type of money. You know, it all depends on you, you know, pace yourself, uh, find the spots, uh, be smart, man. Don't tear your car up, take care of your car, drive smart, drive and get a car with four. If you don't have one, if you're thinking about Uber, rent one, you know, four cylinders, six cylinders is better. You can do it with eight, but it's better for the gas. You know, so you figure within, oh, okay, well, let me get to the gas. Okay, on the average, gas. So what do you spend on the gas a day, really, right? Now, gas, you're going to spend some money on gas, right? So just say, I've done my first shift, I've made 80 bucks. Usually, I'm going to put some gas in, right? You know, four cylinder, six cylinder. <laughs> I'm trying to stress that point. I'll put about, fifth, you know, 15 bucks in there or something, right? 15 bucks. Um, will take me to the, the the next of my the rest of my shift, right? At nighttime, at the end of my shift, you know, I'm just trying to kind of wrap it up and give you guys a, a good idea. You guys can do the math. You know, I might um put another 15, 10, 15 bucks in there. So you on, on average, yeah, you spend about 20, 30 bucks a day. You know, 
Um, I'm making about 180 to 200 bucks a day if I'm doing it the way and I, I do. If, if some don't come up or whatever, you know, or, or I don't have no, uh, something else going on. But my point is, I'm just trying to give a thing. It is possible to make 200 bucks and more. I did more, 200, I've made more than 200 bucks a day Uber, right? Um, and I'm talking about Monday through Friday. I'm not even including the weekends. The weekends, everybody should know this from here and ain't from here. This is a different animal all together. So if you're interested in Ubering, I'll leave my link in the bottom. Uh, you can um, uh, forgive me for my shirt being so I'm in a car. I'm kind of sweating, guys. I ain't trying to, you know, I just don't want to, you know, be looking all crazy. You know, it's all clean. It's straight. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I don't know why you got it up. But, uh, yeah, I'll leave a link. Sign up, guys. Hit me up in the comment box. Ask me questions. I will respond. I'll let, let you know everything I know. I'll give you all the game that I got, the Uber game of what I know about Uber game and how to make 200 and more. And I'm just talking about driving. I'm not talking about referrals and, and everything else to go with Uber. I'm not having even spoke on that, you know. So, hey, go love somebody. Matthew 633. I did a little something different today. We talked about Uber. I stretched even the video out a little longer than what I was supposed to. You know, got into some. I just want, really, I told my story about Uber. You know, you got to do it your way or find how you do it your way or whatever the thing is. I'm just giving you a blueprint of how that works for me. And if it's possible, yeah, don't let nobody tell you, ah, you can't make Yeah, you can. Don't let nobody tell you that. They hate, they lie to you or they just ain't working. You know, you got to be disciplined. You got to put in some time. It ain't, don't come for free. Um, it's coming. You got to put in at least eight, eight, within eight, put like this. You can do eight hours just like you do an eight hour shift. And you can make 200 bucks Ubering and more or more. And tips, I'm just talking about straight uh, cash. I'm not even talking about, not cash, but I'm talking not just rides. You know, I'm not even including tips. Tips, I'll make a video in the future about how, how you get that because I do real good in tips. I make over 100 bucks in tips a week. Uber, thank God. Glory to him. You know, everything is for him. Matthew 6, 33. Uh, go love somebody, ma'am. Hit like if you like this, if you like, if you don't like. If it's something I didn't explain or you didn't understand, I know I kind of jumbled some things together. I got excited. Leave comment in the comment box and I will respond to you. Go love somebody. Las Vegas 2020. We doing it big out here. Get around Vegas.